make it work. So I'm just quickly demonstrate the problems you may encounter while trying to work this out. So I'm going to import my model. It's a free model of a helicopter. It's uh, nothing fancy. Uh, often when you have a free model you have to work on it or be able to work on it to make it work a little bit. So here we got the helicopter and uh, one way to animate the rotor would be duplicate all. Just switch off everything that's not the rotor in one, one copy of the model. So I'm just going to switch everything off. So I'm left with just the rotor. Put it on group 2. And here on group 1, I'm going to hide the rotor. So in theory, now I should be left with... Uh, create a quick camera. Okay, track Z tool. Drag it over. Okay, so now when I go to... Since I got the hull and everything that's not the rotor on group 1, as you can see, and uh, I got the rotor on group 2, I should be able to animate the rotation, the Y rotation, but hey, I got a problem. And that's the anchor point of the rotor, because it, count, it still assumes that there is a whole model underneath the rotor, and uh, it just... The anchor point is just not correct, so I can go into element, and since the anchor point is uh, ticked to be in model center, I can try bottom, but it won't work. It's just to show you what it does, so it does all kinds of things you don't want. So you're going to have to work this little bit in 3D Max, and this is how you do it. Now, the idea is to break the helicopter into pieces, not exactly, but to make my rotor element separate and this counts for both rotors but I'm going to be showing this only for the main rotor okay so I'm gonna to have to bring okay so I'm bring, gonna bring the model now I don't know what model you have but uh, you may have model that is organized differently so but since I have model that is the single object there are no elements I need to somehow detach or break it. So I'm gonna go to modifier panel, go to element in editable poly selection and now I just select all the elements that I wanna detach from the model. In this case everything that's gonna be rotated in element. Now there are several reasons you may wanna do this in element and not in 3D Max. It's just maybe for the rendering or it's just generally element 3D makes 3D easier so Okay, so now I'm gonna go scroll down and detach into object, I call it rotor, click OK, click away from element selection and now as you can see I got helicopter and I got rotor separately. Now to make sure, absolutely sure that my rotor, rotor in element 3D will be revolving around its uh, central pivot point. I'm going to go to hierarchy, affect pivot only, center to object, click away. And now if I rotate it in 3D Max, it revolves around the perfect center. Okay, so now I'm going to hide the hull. And now I'm going to export this since element works only with OBGs. Click OBG. And now I'm just going to export it as a single object. There I go. Now you may want to export your helicopter too as a single object, but it's not necessary since in this particular model I can hide the rotor by switching it off in Element 3D, so I'm not going to be doing that. Now jump back into Element 3D. I'm going to go to Scene Setup, back again, switch off the rotor. So I'm just left here with my hull. I'm not going to be covering texturing, obviously. You can search other tutorials for that. So I'm going to import my rotor. So I'm going to import my rotor. Now, there I go. I put it on group 2. Okay, it's now the, the structure of the rotor stayed the same. It's just because since this model has a UVs, unwrapped, and textures, 
that's a cool thing so it doesn't you know do anything bad so now I just need now I just need to align my rotor visually where where it is okay I'm not saying this is some kind of a genius solution but it works I'll put it up a little bit. Yeah, you can of course it's up to you to make this fit perfect. I'm just gonna run this really quick, roughly. So you may need to type it down. So yeah, this looks so kind of right. Now I'm gonna go to particle look, scale the rotor down again, adjust it drag it minus 15 might work yeah, whatever so okay I think you you know, you get the idea now and now I can just animate it it's that easy and just click alt y axis star time star maybe 450 might work and there you go okay, your order is is animated now. In order to move the helicopter, since you want to do some action scene or whatever, now to move the helicopter and not to break it from the rotor, you have to do it with World Transform. As you can see now, I can move the whole helicopter on every axis. I can rotate it however I want, and the rotor just stays animated. One last touch enable motion blur for the comp and for the layer. And there you go. You got your propeller animated. It's that easy. So I hope that uh, this shortcut has been useful and uh, check out my other videos as well and uh, have a successful 2013. Bye.